9611 here, and welcome to a, another uh, Tutorial Tuesday. And this time we're going to be covering the A7V, or the um, it would be the German tank of World War One. So this is what I came up with. And uh, the A7V was pretty boxy. It had one big uh, cannon on the front that was uh, fired like shells. And then it had machine guns on the sides and one at the back. And I even put the German insignia um, on the sides here. And the way you get in is up through here on the ladder. And then you come into the top. And down in here you have the lookout place where you can have these, um, which are like the hatches. Uh, and down here you have each gun gun mount uh, that is supposed to be like whoops well uh you put these like that there we go um yeah so you have these guns and and here's the the drivers or right, and the cannon kind of part I'm just gonna put that there too but this will be a tutorial so um, just want to show you guys the inside real fast. So it, it looks like this, and it's pretty nice. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. As um, in Battlefield One, I know that like each uh, gun is like sectioned off, and this is kind of why I'm doing these tutorials. Because last week I did the British land ship, and this week I'm doing the German one. <clears throat> so yeah, here it is, and let's get on to the tutorial. So, first thing you're going to do is get your blocks of coal and come down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just like that. Note that will be your first set of tracks. Do three buttons there, three buttons there. Then you're going to come over 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the fourth one you're going to mirror that over. Most of my tanks are this uh, size and wheelbase because I think it is a pretty good universal uh, wheel, track, base, wheel, base, whatever you want to say. And then we're going to go ahead and do these slabs. Uh, just like this. And we will cover it up like that. And then we're going to do slabs on the front and back like this. And then your uh, cyan hardened clay going to come just like this, up to, and then like that, perfect, so a whole line down, another line, and then one up, like that, looking good, so on the back here, it's going to come in like that, slabs here, because this will be your back, and stairs there, just like that, and we're gonna take some tripwire hooks, if I, oh, I dropped them, alright, we'll do that, I'll just grab them actually, because we can do that, and we'll grab these levers, and we got fence gates, so, tripwire hooks here and here, hole right there, levers, and here you're going to place a block there, so you can place oak fence gates like that to break it, and that is that, good to go. Now you're going to come three in, so one, two, three, and right there one, one, two, three, right there one, and a block here and here, so you can do fence gates like that, break it, fence gates, break it. Same thing on the other side. Perfect. Uh, blocks. Just like that. And I am um, going to turn shaders off real fast, actually. Back on the shaders just so it uh, is a little bit easier for you guys to see what we're doing. And it's also easier for me that way. I have also hopefully at least brightened up the video a bit so it is not a. Uh, it's not very dark in this video. Alright, so you're going to slope that. So, 
up two, and then up one. I feel, yeah, we're gonna keep those there. So, as you can see, we're getting the basic shape. Up in the front here, you're gonna break this top block and place two coal, three slabs there, another coal there. And we'll go ahead and grab these signs and place them like that. And a button on the front, button there and there, 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 actually break those, and we'll do them here, and there, just for a little bit of uh, decoration. And let's go ahead and grab a gray banner, and we're also going to make this um, black cross banner for the German insignias. It's very simple. All you gotta do is take a gray banner. We're gonna grab another one real fast and put it in the corner. Ink sacks in a cross shape like that, and there you go. You have it. So the cross ones go here and here, and the regular gray ones go here and here. So just like that, you have the German insignia, which is a nice added touch. And then up top here, what we're going to do is this, like that, we're going to come over, and just like that, you have your little box, although I did it a little wrong, it's okay though, I'm just going to break that out, and break this, and do that, there we go. There we are. So, looking good. I've not done it wrong. I don't know if I was going crazy or something, but that will stay like that. And this will come up. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then uh, your stone brick slabs are going to be right there with buttons like that. <clears throat> And uh, we're going to do slabs on the top of this little roof here. So that that happens. Perfect. And then you can break uh, those. Place a block here. Trapdoid. Ah, crap. There. Fake one there. Just for looks. So, yeah. So you do have to place a block here. Trapdoor. Trapdoor. <coughs> And it's raining. Great. That's okay. Just get rid of that. Um, and then up on the front, we're going to do two there. And then on the back, you can break that block. So that is basically the exterior. Uh, up here, you can break those two blocks, or slabs, and place two trap doors. Now we can get our glowstone. <clears throat> okay, um, sorry. And we're gonna come in here. And you have this empty space. We can do this. To block these off, because in the game, Battlefield 1, although I don't play it, I know. And I've watched. Uh, these are sectioned off. So... Uh, you have your sections here, and then we're going to grab the buttons again. We're going to do but, uh, buttons up here. Or button there, sorry. And then levers here and here. Perfect. That should be good. <clears throat> and then we're going to have ladders to there. And then place a block here and here. And we're going to have ladders running all the way up there. You can put glowstone on the top. Ah, not there. Right here. And then uh, we can do one right there too. And we can do one there. And there. Perfect. And we can also do some more right here if you feel you still don't have enough lighting. Do some there. 
Alright, so, uh, yeah, that is basically it. I'm pretty sure that's <clears throat> all of it. Man, my, uh, throat's getting a little touchy. Um, you can also break this in place. <clears throat> I slab there so that you can, s I mean, it can be like the site or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that is the uh, A7V German tank of World War One, And this is for my World War One tutorials list. <clears throat> Let's uh, go ahead and place some buttons here, here, and here. And I have one more added feature that I would like to show off for those who stayed to the end. <clears throat> Man, I'm sorry about my voice. But for the future, um, don't break that, actually. We're gonna place that back, sorry. Um, you can break this bottom block here and place it with, replace it with dispensers below these guns. <clears throat> Man, still having problems with my voice. Even on the back one. And then, you can go in here and place levers on all of the dispensers. And you can probably see where this is going. Uh, if you know me. And you can either get fire charges. You can even do fireworks too if, if you want explosions like uh oh why where do where's the, all the fireworks? Rocket? No? Uh where are those at? Okay, whatever. Uh I'm not gonna find those unless they're in miscellaneous. Which they used to be. <coughs> So, uh, you can either get that or arrows. I like to get the gray ones because they look gray. is kind of like bullets. Okay, so. And then you can fire out with still keeping <clears throat> the aesthetic of your tank. Instead of ruining the aesthetic. Fireballs are loud, but fire further. But the arrows are also kind of, they're gray and like, I don't know. Whatever you want to do there but I do like doing that because it gives it a uh, workability sort of thing all right that'll be it for today guys hope you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content this will be ZF9611 and I'm out see you next time